Hello, and welcome back to the Log Dark. There's a bear over there, and I don't want to wake it up. I don't want it to get attention, but I can't sit here all day. I need to get the hell out of this place. Let's crouch first. Let's walk around the back side here. Don't you turn around. Don't you turn around, Yogi. There's a wolf on the water out there? Is that a deer? That's a deer. Oh, man. I was going to say, I should get down into the lake area there. You won't see me. Is there two bears? Because that I move really fast. Is this going to be like a clever girl situation where like I'm watching the one, but I don't see the other one atta attacking from the side? Oh, he's coming back. He's on patrol. Okay. So like, this is like approaching some uh, like Metal Gear Solid infiltration type thing. I'm going to see an exclamation point above his head here in a second. And he's going to be alerted to my presence and then it's going to be all over here. I can be preemptive. I could shoot him in the face. He's not going to die when I do when I do that. He is where I need to go to. I wanted to go that way. I'm going to take a look at the map and he's going to be like right in front of my face now. I'm at the waterfront cottages. That's what we figured out last time. I should have figured that out based on when I walked into this building here and it said waterfront cottage. I should have known exactly where we were. But I didn't put that together for whatever reason. I just ignore that in the top left there for whatever reason. It's, it's easy to miss. I got a lot of other stuff going on. See, the further away I get from the house, the more nervous I get now. Because I got no place to run out here. I got a rock to run up. If I'm quiet, if I'm careful, maybe he won't see me. It's a big old if. I think we can walk now. I'm going to come out around this rock, though. He's going to be standing, like, right there. So we are on our way back to Desolation Point. Because there is stuff we left behind. Not a lot of stuff, mind you. But there is things that we could find there that we didn't find last time. And we kind of breezed right past them because it was dangerous. And we didn't have a lot of gear at the time. We didn't have weapons. We didn't have much of anything. There was a lot of wolves. That I recall. We're heading back into the wolves' den, though. Hopefully, it's not literal. I don't think I'll be going to a literal wolves' den here tonight, but see what happens. Uh, I got my backpack pretty well unloaded here. I think I can sprint again almost. Okay, so I think the only thing slowing me down now is the gear I'm wearing. At this point. That's why I'm not getting a full sprint bar. Because I'm getting some reduced sprint due to... Due to the gear I'm wearing. I'm wearing some fluffy stuff. I could eat anything right now. They're not that hungry. But I mean, really. I mean, it feels like two. That means overcoming. I'm overcoming 19 degrees. So I got like 21 degrees of warmth on me. And I don't even have like everything I wanted to get. Let's get out of here first. Because we want to get... Some rabbit skin uh, hat coming up here. Some rabbit skin mittens to wear. And those are going to be even warmer, I bet. Well, I don't know for sure. Maybe they won't be. And I already hear them. I already hear them. We're into the wolf den. We got to go under and over and through. We're going to head through here. We're going to end up back at the mine, I believe. And then we're going to be going through that. And then we're going to be going back to... Desolation point. Now that makes me very nervous for a couple of reasons. One, we visited a lot of the stuff over there already. So food is not going to be found in the buildings there. I can hunt it now, which is the only reason I'm attempting this. If we get into a real big scrape, I can hunt. I can hunt wolves. I can hunt deer. Just listening for padding of feet around me. So again, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come around a hill, and it's gonna be something like right there. I mean, who's gonna put canned goods in their mailbox? Anybody? Of course not. Abandoned Harris home. 
It says abandoned Harris home. So like, is this this is a named location? There's nothing special about it though. I wish there was like something more special about it. Is there a basement or something like that I'm missing? Is that what it is? No? Which one's Harris home? Also. Oh, here we, yeah, here we go. We were in here before. We were in here before. I don't think there's gonna be anything useful in here. Hmm. Water heater, circuit breaker. This is a weird one, actually. I do remember coming back in here. We checked all the drawers and everything like that. Everything's empty. We checked the first aid kits. Yeah, we did all this. Okay, so that's... This is pretty well... Well investigated. That's what I mean. We're going to go into these places. There'll be good shelter for a time being, but... I mean, we're not going to find much. I don't anticipate much finding much in these things. I think we came into there to escape a wolf or something. Last time we were through here. Which means... Uh... Which means I'd be ready with my gun this time. Oh god. I don't know why I got out of the flare. I'm glad I didn't activate it. Okay. So we got a wolf. Thing is, I don't want to be carrying Weeda with me going into the wolf's den here. So the only thing I can really do is kill it, cook it, and eat it. Right away. That way I'm not carrying meat with me. He's not charging yet. I don't think he saw me. Now he's in the blind spot. Stick your face right next to that car, please. He's walking too fast for me. I don't have any, like, meat to lay out or anything like that. I can just try to get him. That's too long a shot. I can maybe get over to the car here. I'm going to go onto this branch. Come on. Oh. God damn it. Get him with the sledgehammer. I don't want to hit him. I didn't want to hit him with that. I didn't want to hit him with that. I wanted something that would cut his face open. <sighs> that was mildly embarrassing. Well, he. Hmm. I need first aid. Got wolf bites. His sprained ankle isn't isn't bandages. It's painkillers. Lots of painkillers. Uh, in which case, I have six. So that's perfect amount to take. There we go. And healed sprained ankle that quickly. That quickly, man. Vicodin's amazing. I don't see him now, though. I hear whimpering still, though. Let's assume he's gone. That's always safe to do. Where are all these crows? There's some. He always dodges at the last second. Okay. I gotta get ready for this next one. He's gonna come back. I want to get up here if I can't. Mm. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Yeah, no kidding. I want to get up on this rock. Well, there's a guy. I wasted another bullet too, by the way. As I said last time, wasting a bullet is like tantamount to losing a life, losing a day of my life. 
So I've wasted two lives, two days of my life today. There's a wolf ahead of me still, too. This is not the trip I had in mind. I'm not even to the point of where I wanted to be before. We have to get through here first, and then we get to where we want to go. And so far, the getting to the getting to has proved to be a lot. I just wonder if I should run down that way. I think where I want to go is way over there. Will this fall kill me is the next question. This is, this is, this is. Gotta be very careful with the fall here. It's like two feet in this game. Is like, he cries out in pain like he just like severed his spine. Okay. At the very least, maybe we'll encounter new things down here. On the plus, we're... We took the low ground now. That's what you want in a battle, right? Low ground? Low ground always wins the day. Just, just definite battle tactics. Proven, proven battle tactics. I think I want to be up there, though. See if I can walk this guy. I gotta eat something too. I'm gonna lose my uh, well fed here in a sec. Uh, what do I got? Tuna. Or sardines rather, not tuna. We'll lighten the load a little bit here. Drink some water as well. Next we'll take care of the peaches. Those are pretty heavy. And delicious. Actually, real life, I'm not really a fan of peaches. But in a desperate situation like this, I'll eat whatever. So, I'm always thinking in this game, though, like, there's just not enough stuff. And not in, like, a, oh, we're always fighting for resources kind of way. It's just, like, it doesn't feel accurate. Like, unless people, like, really, like, scavenged everything before we got here. It feels like in the real world, like, there'd be so much stuff just sitting around that we're not... Rabbit, okay, good. There's just so much stuff in the world when you look around. Like, there's food everywhere. There's clothing everywhere. There's so much clothing. Like, I own shirts that I don't wear anymore. I own shirts that, like... Is this almost I can get in? Am I in the right spot? Leaf crumbling highway. I mean, I got no idea. Let's let's map it quick. So you can figure where we are. So I'm here. I need to get up here. So I think I take the, the ooh, rabbit. I don't think I can catch a rabbit right now though. If I do, I'd eat it raw. Now I have now I have scent. It'd be very attractive to the local population. I have to harvest it immediately. Attracting more attention. Eat it raw. Like a real wild man. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Eat that meat raw. Raw meat cooked to eat safely. Yeah. Sure. I could light a fire like right here and cook quick. I don't have a lot of fire. We got enough to do a little bit, though. Probably enough to cook some things. Wooden matches. Tinder plug I have six of. Sticks will be nice and dry. Let's start it up. I mean, this isn't a great spot. If the wind picks up, it's going to go out. But I, I can light a fire at least. I can cook on it quick. At least I can keep it going for an hour or so, maybe. I can't sleep here. Obviously, I got to get someplace else. If I get into the... Mm, if I get into the, the mine, which I believe is where we're headed. I could probably safely sleep there someplace. Let's leave a, use a fire striker, see how that goes. 70% chance, alright. Are these one use? They don't feel like they should be one use. To be honest, I'm not sure how a fire striker works. Maybe 
If they are multiple use, I don't need to carry around two of them. Uh, let's add the reclaimed wood in. I have five of it. One hour is going to be enough to cook with. Someone said in the comments that a cooking pot will let us cook stuff faster. 30 minutes. Awesome. And let's cook the raw one here. Seventeen minutes. That's perfect. And we got an hour of fire. It's awesome. I mean, I don't want to be sitting around here all day, and I can't really sit waiting too long without something. I'm gonna take this this cup of coffee quick, actually. This is gonna give me a little bit of bonus on my. I should have heated it up first. Oh well. Gonna get a little bonus on my hunger just a little bit. So if I wait here for another couple minutes, it's gonna. My hunger's going to fall off. And I don't want to lose that, that well-fed bonus that's so important at this point. Because I got so much stuff to carry. My clothing alone. I was trying to figure it out, but like I have 8.15 kilograms worn. And only 0.25 in my pack. What's my, this, this, what's my pack? Still this thin wool sweater? I mean, that's not the end of the world to carry around. Seven minutes on that. I can, I can skip ahead. I'm not going to cook any water. I have plenty. Eat it. I'm not going to carry any meat with me. I'm just going to use this to sustain myself here for a little bit. Eat it up. Pick that up. How much time do I have left? 31 minutes. I can actually cook some water in a recycled can here. Cook. 19 minutes. Might not be enough. I can get some unsafe water at least. And actually, can I just use... I don't know if I have any. I have these things. One tablet treats 0.26... One liter of water. I should probably just do all of it then. Should I melt the snow here? Let's do this. Will this melt snow in an hour? If I do one liter. 45 minutes, 24 minutes. I'd have to go add fuel. Another reclaimed wood on there would do the trick. All right, we got two left. We can make one more fire then. Let's uh, let this go then. Take it, take it. And then uh, that's boiled. The other one's not. And then we can do this. We can go use purifying water. Beautiful. Wait, what did they actually purify? Do I, does it just like grab water and purify it? Like, where does the water come from? How's my weight doing now? I got too much water on me. I thought I would purify water I already have in my pack, but it seems like it's just grabbing new water from someplace. I don't know what that's about, but we'll leave it. So I think the exit's gotta be over here someplace then. Up this way. In a cave. Of some kind. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is just like a promising death alley, possibly. Ah, oh, here we go. That was, that was, like, everything looks so far away on the map. But, seriously, if you, I guess, we're, we're zoomed way out over here. It's like, oh, look how far away we are. We're like over here someplace. No, the, the map is literally this big. We have all of it explored. Let's grab that because we're a little bit low. Okay, we're into this part then. That only took like too long. Did I leave anything behind before? I left a backpack here sitting empty. And there's nothing in it, of course. Uh, No lockers, no nothing here. Good. Okay, fine. Which means I'm going to use a lantern here. And it's going to go dead pretty quickly here. Unless I have some lighter fluid on me, I don't think I would. We might be traveling by flare light. Nope, nothing to refuel it with. Okay, we gotta go quickly then. Don't dilly dally in here a little. At just go, go, go. Should I pick up a coal? I mean, it's extra weight. I shouldn't be carrying with me, but we did, I guess, expend a little bit of weight. Now this place is completely safe because we could just pretty much jog through here. I'm not gonna pick up any more coal than I already have. I already have a piece on me, and. uh... Yeah, we're not going to pick up any more. Oh, if I run, though, I'm going to lose fatigue. 
This is actually a safe place to sleep for the night, though. Scrap metal. This is deeper than the mine. Now, I don't know if there's more than one exit here or anything like that. We're going to get out. It's going to be nighttime. And we're not going to have any light. And be trapped. I guess if that's the case, we just throw our sleeping bag down in here someplace. And stay here for the night. It seems warm. It seems warm enough. It's a creepy cave. I'll get, like, like black lung from being here too long. But, I mean, that's, like, a long-term problem. Starving is a short-term problem. Fatigue is a short-term problem. There's so much coal in here. I guess I know where I'm coming if I need more of it. But yeah, there's just so much stuff in the world when you really look around. I just like don't feel like this anything could ever look like it does in this game. Oh, it sounds like the wind's picked up out there. This is just like a... Just the sound of the wind rushing through. Maybe it's not like a lot of blowing wind. Who knows? I guess there's one way to find out. It's blowing quite a bit out here. Desolation point, though. We made it. Okay, now we got to figure out where we are, though. Hibernia processing. It's not where we are. Can I map right now? I don't have any charcoal. Shoot. So, no, I can't map. The wind is something else. My, my warmth is actually okay here, though. It feels like negative one. I mean, that's not bad. As the darkness happens, it's going to get colder, though. Oh, climbing rope right here, right? Yeah. I don't have it with me. That would certainly be helpful right now. I could go down there. I don't know what's down there. We just got to be able to find our way back, I think. But then again, I don't know where there will be to sleep here. And also, there's a chance. Well, there's a chance we run into animals out here that I'm not ready for. Here's what we're going to do. Axe sauce, one hour, 30 minutes. Axe is 45 minutes. Let's break this down with this. I'm losing a lot of heat. That's fine. Let's go back. What we're going to do is we're, our fatigue so low and the wind, the wind is so bad out here, I'm not going to get any very far safely. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab a little bit of sticks. See if I can make a fire inside of this, this, this cave. I know it's not a cave, but for lack of a better brain term, I'm, not, I'm just going to say cave. Warm it up. Okay, can I make a fire in here? So cold. Yes, I can. Nice. So the fire strikers do have durability, so I should not be carrying around more than one of those. Ever. So we'll cook us up, cook us up some peaches. I mean, I'm basically going to be using up the rest of my food right now to stock up on calories. I didn't bring any literature with me to read up on. That might have been an oversight on my part. Yeah, uh, that did it. All right. I'm like gra grabbing the gun out, just smashing buttons together. Uh, we grabbed three cedar wood. Let's throw those on there. That's worth a whole bunch. Actually, if this runs for 20 minutes, we could throw a coal on there. That would make a lot of sense because there's so much just sitting around in here. And um, I could eat a horse. Don't have any horse today, bud. Uh, I do have warmth and water for you though, and that should be good enough for you. Uh, let's see. That will make a nice tea, but I don't want that right now. What I'm thinking is the peaches. Cook those up. This one's have these are heavier than that is, so I'm gonna cook these guys up. Cook up a herbal tea. Actually, I don't think my my condition's that bad. Let's lay out the sleeping bag. We can find open spots in place. Right there looks good to me. All right, so then we can cook a can of peaches. The worst can of peaches. Get a little bit of weight back. Get a little bit of food in our stomachs. 14 minutes till warm. My fatigue and hunger and everything's at 422. So that's not enough to sleep on, really. But yeah, my, my fatigue is so low, I couldn't have gone anywhere. I wouldn't have got very far. Uh, while we're waiting, can I break this down? 30 minutes. 
Break it down by hand is an hour. I only need 10 minutes for this is ready. Uh, I could just do some more water just cuz. Oh, you know what else I have on me? I have some I have some wolf or uh, rabbit gut on me still. I should probably not. All right, cook that up. 15 minutes on that one. Um, let's leave the gut in here. Fresh rabbit pellet. I mean, they can cure a little bit in here. It's safe. Two minutes still ready. Eat it up. I'm warm. I'm fed. It's still mostly daytime. Sounds like the wind stopped. I wonder if I should probably like try to like sleep for a little bit. I said I was going to put a thing on this, but I don't really need to cook much longer on this. We got lots of food. This is going to go boiled in five minutes. Let's do it quick. Let's sleep for like two hours maybe. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick back up while we're sleeping. And then I get a little fatigue back. I could have made some coffee. That's what I should have done. Pick up. All right. It's dark, but it's not that bad. I'm going to head out. It's getting dark, but it's not still. I feel like it's someplace. Too much stuff to carry. How much? That's 36. You're fine. You're fine. Quit complaining. Should have brought the rope, though. Not that I would be climbing very well in fatigue like this right now, especially with a heavy pack on, but... Yeah. No sprinting. That'll that'll kill my fatigue faster. Don't need to stick to the road necessarily. I could take some detours off the beaten path. Should grab some of this stuff for some antibiotic so I don't have to carry on the heavy stuff. I think I need like five of it to make one, though. Something like that. Something crazy. Still, it weighs like almost nothing. I mean, it's lichen. I mean, you're not gonna... Not gonna weigh yourself down with lichen ever. Carry a bushel of lichen and not weigh yourself down much. Believe me, I've tried. So I don't remember... I don't remember how far back it was to the lighthouse. Which is the main point of interest I have here now. I should have grabbed more charcoal. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I've explored. I wish I could tell what, which cars I've been into. I guess if I could see anything still inside of them, I should probably go in, but otherwise I'll just go. Wind's picking up a little bit. Okay, this is a road. This is this will get me someplace. Like right face to face with a bear. I know the bear was patrolling over here. I think I'm walking into the wind now. Temperature's not killing me, though. Is this a place I can walk into? This fenced-off area? Looks like it's possibly broken in spots. You can't, like, hop barriers or anything like that. Well, here I could get in here. If there's any reason to. It doesn't seem like it, actually. It's slow going. Okay, so there's the lighthouse. I could see it. Last time from prior experience, we know that there's there's wolves down in the, the water over here. Next to the lighthouse. They should leave me alone. God, walking in the wind affects you a whole lot. There's deer down there, too. Not that I need them right now. I could possibly walk up that tree bridge, but I don't know where I would go when I get to the top. They'll probably just fall off and die. I said in the comments a couple days ago, I don't know what's going to kill me here. I mean, it's going to have to be... I'm, I, Okay, I don't want to, like, talk like I know what I'm talking about now. Because, I mean, I'm still... I still consider myself somewhat novice with this game. But I don't know what's going to kill me. 
I've been being careful about the wolves. I mean, I pan panicked with the gunshot. Sure, that was just minutes ago. Panicked with clicking the wrong weapon. Sure. That my stuff kind of stuff might get me killed on Interloper, but on Stalker, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. My condition's good. I know what I know what the dangers are now. I know enough to to do well, I think. For the most part. And I'm being trying to be safe. I mean, what's going to kill me? Get into a situation without any food? Maybe. But I can hunt now. Running out of ammo? That's days away. That's days away. That's episodes away. Like, there's no, like, there's no, like, two episodes and done at this point now. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to be a little bit rough on food now. Going into this area here. Because I know there's not much back at the lighthouse. And that's fine. I kind of expected that. It's just a small detour. What time is it? Not quite night yet, but it is starting to fade. So we can spend another night here in the lighthouse. And then we head back down along the coast. I think I see the tops of the... Right there. I think I see the tops of the, the ship we're headed to right there. That's where we're headed. So that's where ultimately we're headed today. The wolves leave me alone. Could I make it there today? There's a wolf in between us and it. If I walk by a beeline there. If I take the road, there's probably wolves that will pop up along the way. I could shoot the wolf for food. Chances are I'll miss. Waste more ammo. I only have eight rounds left. So that's where that's where I start getting some more damage than I should have. But I mean... I don't know. It's, I guess that's... That's the course of... That's the course of events now. The only way is to improve then... Is just to take better shots. Not make those misses. Not bite off more than I can chew. Which I'm already learning. And be safe. And that's it. Like that's that's how you improve now. I'll tell you what I'm done with. I'm done with easy mode now though. The the easier uh, journey journey mode or whatever. Voy voyeur mode. I'm done with that. Voyager mode. Whatever it's called. I'm done with that mode. Now I'm on to... Stalker exclusively because this this pr playthrough proved that I can put it together in a good way and do well. I mean, there's warmth on that thing, I'm sure. That wolf down there bothers me. I can't get down here safely, I'm pretty sure. That's instant death. Doesn't mean I won't try it, though. I mean, is that how the series ends? Is this how this run ends? Just me... Well, it ends with me walking too close to the edge and not being able to get back because the way the game works with, like, pathing down down slopes and, and stuff. I can't. I can't sometimes. Problem is, I'm pretty low on fatigue. And if this place doesn't have a bed or room for a bed, then... Well, I got the sleeping bag with me, though. It's just, there's a cliffside here and I got no place to go. Again, I could try to I could try to snipe that wolf from up here. It's gonna be a tough shot, and I don't want to waste more ammo. But I gotta get that way, so I'm gonna have to take him out either way. Just trying to look for a shortcut here, and there's there's really none. There are no shortcuts in this life. I gotta get there. I gotta get there. I don't want to waste the fatigue, but I gotta get there. Ah, oh, it's too it's too steep. Same with over here. I might be able to walk down over there someplace on the other side of the bridge. I gotta do so without killing myself. This looks promising. This looks promising. Then where? Then I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. Where'd the wolf go? Again, you see, it like breaks his spine anytime he walks anywhere. Alright, get our gun out. We gotta be ready for it. We know it's here. We know it's coming. See, this is this is what'll kill me. This is impatience. Now my fatigue's gonna start fading fast, and I'm gonna be in a bad spot to fight anything off. There's right there. You know he's not gonna turn around though. I dropped my I dropped my I dropped my meats. Oh, he did see me. Okay. Now wait till the last second to shoot. Because he dodges at the last second. I might be able to scare him away with the flare. Oh, 
I don't know. Do I need to throw it or stab him with it? I don't exactly know what I have to do here. He's slowing down, actually, though. Where is he? I actually am faster than him right now. He looks so far away still. It's going. Is it going out? Gonna get a lot colder soon. I'm almost there. I gotta find a way in though once I get there. I don't know if he's keeping his distance because the flare is out, but All I can think about is food. He's definitely keeping his distance though. And I'll, I'm the first to admit, I don't know how these flares work. Like, what keeps them away, what doesn't, I don't know. All I know is that I'm not dead yet. Again, I'm worried about the clever girl situation. Let's just get inside this tugboat if we can. If I can't, then I'm dead. There's absolutely no way in that I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm stuck on some ice right now, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should drop it or not now. We ran away. Oh, we did it. We did it. We made it. Holy cow. It's filled with explosives. The Riken. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. 